Falk Museum. The Falk Museum is the museum of history and the history of art for the city and state of Bremen. It was formed in 1924 by the merger of a museum of industry and commerce and the previous historical museum, and is named for the founder of the latter, Johann Falk, 1848-1922, a Bremen Privy Councilor German, Senate Syndicus and father of Heinrich Falk. It is located in 4.5 hectares, 11 acres of grounds in the Rheinsberg neighborhood of the city. In addition to a main building which opened in 1964 and was extended in 2002, the museum complex includes buildings dating from the 16th to the 19th centuries. History The museum is a merger of two institutions, a Museum of Industry and Commerce Jurg Museum, which opened in 1884, and the former historical museum Historisches Museum, for Bremist Altertumor, which was founded in 1900. The Museum of Industry and Commerce developed out of the Technical Institute for the Trades Technist and Stolt für Jurbetreibend, an institution with the mission of instructing Bremen's craftsmen in historical styles and design. It was intended to provide them with a collection of examples from all areas of craftsmanship. In 1884, the entire institution was renamed the Jurg Museum. Its first two directors, August Heinrich Topfer, 1872-1903, and Emil Hogg, 1867-1954, were architects and designers. The historical museum was founded by Johann Falk, initially as a private initiative. It opened in 1900 in the cloister and refectory of the former monastery of St. Catherine in the center of Bremen, with a collection of exhibits related to the history of the city which Falk had been assembling since 1880. Gifts from residents caused the collection to outgrow the available space, and in 1905 it was moved to an annex of the Bremen Cathedral and then in 1913 to a barrack building, which had been an old people's home in Grossenstrasse in the Stefanowirtel neighborhood on the far west of the old city. It was renamed to the Falk Museum of Bremen Antiquities Falk Museum for Bremist Alter Tumor on the occasion of Falk's 70th birthday in 1918. Combining the two museums was discussed for many years and finally occurred in 1924, with Ernst Grohn becoming president. The combined institution opened in 1927 in Grossenstrasse. It included an exposition of the history of Bremen and also emphasized regional styles in the crafts and styles departments. For the first time, prehistoric and early historical items were added, Grohn himself collected some of these on archaeological digs beginning in 1931. The museum closed on 10 October 1939, a few days after the outbreak of the Second World War. Most of the collection was placed in storage and thus survived the war, but the building was totally destroyed by fire as a result of bombing. In the 1950s, the Falk Garten Park was created on the site. In 1953, the museum reopened in the 18th century House Reinsberg, the main house of the Reinsberg estate, and in 1959 the foundation stone of a new building was laid, the first new building of any state museum in the Federal Republic since the war. Designed by Heinrich Bartmann and Reinhold Kargel of Darmstadt, the new complex was dedicated in 1964. In classic modern style, respectfully integrated into the landscape and with ample use of glass to emphasize views from the inside out, this main building is now held. In 1974, the Association of German Architects called it one of the most beautiful museum facilities on the continent. Directors 1924-1953 Ernst Grohn 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 2008, Jorn Christiansen, April 2043 to present, Frock von der Haar. Current Museum In addition to House Reinsberg and the main building, the museum complex now includes 
three other historic buildings, and an extension built in 2002. The extensive park is also used for exhibits and events. Main Building The 1964 building was modernized in 1996-98 and reopened with a new permanent exhibition on the history of Bremen, spanning over 1,200 years from medieval archaeological finds to the rebuilding after the Second World War. Exhibits include the head of the Bremen Roland, sandstone statues from Bremen Town Hall, cars by Borward machinery from the Koch and Bergfeld Silverware Company, models representing shipbuilding in the state in the 20th century, and also a curiosity, the complementarius, an automaton who used to greet people coming up the steps into the Great Hall. Extension The extension to the main building opened in 2002 and is known as the Shawmagazin Viewable Storage. Designed by the Bremen architect Gert Schulz, it is in the form of a cube clad in copper which gives it a green color. Of the four stories, one consists of space for special exhibitions and three are storage for the museum, two of which are open to visitors, adding 2,000 square meters, 22,000 SQFT of display space. It is connected to the main building by a glass-walled passageway. Storehouses have been placed on view since the 16th century. However, the Falk Museum is the first institution in Europe to revive the idea in a long time. On these two floors, visitors can see items in the museum's collection that were previously hidden away. A wide variety of items are packed together much more closely than in display spaces. Multimedia stations provide information, and there are also opportunities for play and for trying things out. Lifeboat The decommissioned lifeboat Paul Denker, the first all-aluminium craft built for the German Maritime Search and Rescue Service, is on display in the courtyard between the main building and the extension. She was retired in July 2005. House Reinsberg House Reinsberg was built in the second half of the 18th century and was the main house of the Reinsberg estate. It has been used by the museum since 1953 and was declared a protected landmark in 1973. It currently houses the museum's displays on residential life in Bremen, European glass and the Children's Museum and Toy Collection. The displays are especially rich in furniture of the 16th to the 20th centuries, including Heinrich Vogler's 1906 design for a young lady's room, a masterwork of the German Jugend still, and furniture by Rudolf Alexander Schroeder. In the attic is the Studio Fock, an experimental space for children and teenagers. Eichenhof The Eichenhof is the former barn of the Reinsberg estate. It is thatched with reeds and houses the Department of Prehistory and Early History covering the cultural development of the region from 350-0 BC until the 8th century. Amongst other topics, displays cover Stone Age farming cultures, archaeological finds resulting from excavating and gravel dredging in the Wesser, and Bronze and Iron Age grave finds. There is a large amount of material related to the Saxon period, with exhibits in particular from the Migration Age and Early Medieval Cemetery at Mondorf. This building also includes a Renaissance bronze tournament helmet found in the Lessum. House Mittelspuren House Mittelspuren is a farmhouse built in 1586 or 1587. In the late 1950s, the village of Mittelspuren in the Berglessum section of North Bremen, previously a rural area, was cleared for a new steel works operated by Klockner Klockner Stahl. The farmhouse was dismantled in 1961 and rebuilt on the museum grounds in 1964. It has been a protected landmark since 1973. The house is used to display information on the life and daily work of rural families in the Buren area, including house construction, flax preparation, seafaring and river fishing, as well as the movement of industry into rural areas. Tarmstead Barn the barn from a farm in Tarmstedt was erected by Johann and Ted Bastian in 1803, according to the inscription on it. It was moved to the museum grounds in 1973-74 and is used to display farm tools and exhibits relating to agriculture, 
including cattle, dairy and arable farming, beekeeping, haying, peat cutting, slaughtering and rural transport. Park The museum is set in 4.5 hectares, 11 acres of parkland, with the different buildings being connected by gardens with sculptures and sundials. The oldest elements in the park are four tall lime trees in front of House Reinsberg, which were probably planted when the house was remodeled in 1768, and a marble statue of the goddess Terra which has been in the park since 1810. The park includes water features and both a botanical collection, with many exotics, and a farm garden at House Mittelspuren displaying indigenous flowers and herbs. Open-air concerts are held in the park in summer. Obernewland Mill Mill the Obernewland Mill, in the Obernewland section of Bremen, is an external site belonging to the museum. It is a smock mill of the gallery type built in 1848, and has been a protected landmark since 1973. The mill has a permanent exhibit on the process of making bread from corn and an educational program. Special Exhibitions and Events the museum also offers special exhibitions on topics relating to the history of Bremen, crafts and design, and photography and other arts. For example, a 1987 exhibition of works by Wilhelm Wagefeld led to the creation of a foundation and a permanent exhibit elsewhere in Bremen. And there is a regular summer exhibition of photography in 2010 of work by the photojournalist Robert Lebeck and in 2014 of 300 images by Sebastião Salgado under the title Exodus. Tours for varying age groups and lectures are held.